Hey everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's campaign three now. Happy New Year. Gonna wait a couple minutes here just to get some people on. I need to get myself set up, but I'm excited to share goal training today. Um, and hopefully everybody can hear me. I do have something, um, extreme sinus uh, congestion. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me know if you can. <laughs> And if you can't, <laughs> let me know and I will speak up. Um, I do have a lot of uh, water around, so I might be uh, sipping on that along the way, but we'll get through it. So, all right. I wanna make this sure this is open so I can see any comments um, and I will try to answer any questions you have. There is a lot of material I wanna get through um, today and I don't wanna keep you on here forever. So um, I'm gonna get started. I just wanna see who's on here. Hi, Natasha, thanks for tuning in. Victoria, thanks for tuning in as well. Um, any leaders on here, you may want to um, tag your team members um, so that we can get started. This is exciting, right? Um, it's a new year. Um, and even though we are already in campaign Three, um, there's no reason why you still can't uh, set any goals. So I'm going to open this up and really get started. Like I said, I have a hard stop um, before one and hopefully I'll be done before then. So let's get started. I'm going to open this up and share my screen with you. All right. Let's get this in slideshow presentation here. If it wants to cooperate. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna move myself out of the way. Everybody can see that. Let's just see if anybody else tuned in. Hi, Lori. Hi, Julie, Monica. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, just let me know along the way. Like I said, if you can't hear me, it's kind of like I can hear myself, you know, when you're congested and you can't hear. <laughs> So um, hopefully we will uh, get through this without any um, coffee and coughing incidents as well. All right, let's get started. Hi, Janice. All right, so this is all about goal setting and um, this is gonna prep you. What I highly suggest is that you are getting with your mentors after this training. I will be posting this um, information out there and you can use this. I will put the whole presentation out there as well as um, like photos of the slides so that you can use those, you know, in your um, planning sessions. Okay. All right. So how to reach goals in 2022. Um, a while back I had done something on goals and just went through really in depth on, you know, what are, what's a smart goal and how you can get that. But, you know, I kind of made this so that you know, it's a little bit more detailed so that you can really, really figure out what you want in 2022. All right, so let's get started. You know, first of all, um, you know, just some quotes here of, you know, setting goals is the first step of turning the impossible into the visible, right? A goal without a plan is just a wish. If you don't have anything written down or you don't have a plan in place, you don't have any goals, let me just tell you, you're not going to make it. <laughs> you know, you're going to be running by the seat of your pants, and that's not really what you want to do, um, especially in this business. It will catch up with you. So this is a great time to really, you know, get started with your goal setting. And also, you know, whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve, and that is so true. Um, if, you know, there's a lot of us, right, over even this past year working so hard towards, you know, Hawaii and actually making that happen, I mean, that just should give you the more the motivation to, you know, really set up your goals again and earn that trip to Cancun, or maybe it's hit a new level, sales level, or maybe it's even start your own team and get to that um, in new levels within leadership. So let's get started here. So I'm going to go over is what is a goal, which we, you know, gave you some quotes, but um, I want to really, the way I did this is kind of in a way so you understand maybe what you want your goal to be. So I'm gonna run through what the president's recognition program is. I'm gonna run through what the requirements are for the destination Avon 2022. Um, you know, go through what are your goals. And I'm gonna very quickly touch upon SMART goals. You can use the information here. I'm not gonna go into it a lot of detail, but you can use those during your planning sessions. I kept it in there because I think it's good information. 
Um, and then how can I achieve these goals? I'm going to go through and give you some tips on things that you could start thinking about how you can get to those goals and then what those next steps are. All right. Let's get started here. Obviously a goal is, you know, this is just straight from the dictionary. And I want you to kind of put this in your mind and think about this as I go through the training is a goal is the end towards which effort, effort is underlined and bolded is directed. There has to be an effort. There has to be action, right? Um, if there's no action or effort, nothing's gonna happen. So think about that, all right? So I kind of, like I said, I wanted to go through this so that you can start thinking, where do you want to be next year? Um, you know, what level do you want to be at? And, you know, I just want to say congratulations to everybody who has earned, you know, Premier, President's Club, Honor Society, Rose Circle, whatever those levels are, congratulations on working so hard towards those levels. Um, it's just, you know, you, you are now earning at you know a, a more profitable level. So start thinking about where you want to be next year. What is your goal? All right. So just so you understand, the 2022 cycle is going to begin begins in C2. This is why we stress so much as to why C2 is such an important campaign, as well as C1 when you start thinking about and we go through for Mexico. Okay. C2 was kind of as always seems to be a double dipper, right? It's the close of 21, like for this year, it was the close of 21 but also the start of 22. Um, you want to start off on the right foot. You do not ever want to start behind, okay? So, hey, let's, if we had a bad maybe campaign two, guess what? Let's make the decision right now to not let C3 be the same way, okay? Let's, let's you know, Natasha did, um, you know, her video about leveling up. It's about leveling up this year, okay? Let's start right now and level up, all right? So, I also want to make sure you understand that at the close of C21, which is going to be September 27th, so when you're going through your planning, you're going to want to put this in your planner, okay? Your title and commission is going to be determined for the rest of 2022 at that point in time. So wherever you're at, so let's just say you hit President's Club by then, or you want to hit President's Club by then, then, um, or maybe you're already earning at President's Club, okay? And you want to keep that 40% commission. Well, you're going to have to be a president's club by the end of that time frame, okay? So that you can earn that for the fourth quarter. All right, it's going to be locked in. Whatever you're at at that point in time, those are your earnings for the fourth quarter. All right. Now, um, the program is going to end on C2 of um, 2023. So let's just say you don't get the president's club or wherever you were at by that September 27th time frame. You still do have until the end of the year to earn for the following year. It's just that fourth quarter that you really, you know, want to put push towards, okay? Any questions on that? All right, just so you understand, you got to understand that um, so that you can plan, right? All right, so you can see the levels here. It's just really basic stuff to, you know, help you understand, um, you know, those time frames. All right, so what I did here, <laughs> with this chart was really to show you, you know, what do you want to achieve? What is that amount per campaign? The key to this business, I am a very analytical person, but I really believe when you start breaking down the numbers, like some, some people will look at a big number, okay? Let's just say you want to get to Rose Circle, okay? That's a big number, right? But some people might look at that and run away because they're like, oh, I'm never going to get that. Well, did you break it down? You got to break things down. So what I did here was I um, basically broke this down into how many campaigns you need to get there. Now, this does include C2 because you kind of kind of, you know, you'll have to adjust when you go through your planning. But um, I'm giving you the amount needed per campaign um, for, you know, to, to hit before C21. Okay, that September 27th deadline, you have 20 campaigns. And that is the amount that you need to hit to lock in those earnings for the first, first quarter. All right. Now, I also broke it down to you have 27 campaigns, which now 26, okay, <laughs> um, for what you need to hit to get to that level for your earnings for 2023. So this chart will kind of help you understand, you know, the dollars needed because this is all going to go into, you know, my planning, as you will see as I get through the presentation. But this just kind of gives you an idea of where you need to be. What should you be working towards? Okay. 
And I know some of the numbers look really big, but it can be done, okay, right, with the right plan. All right, so let's go through um, Destination Avon 2022. All right, just really quick recap for anybody maybe new or maybe you missed the announcement, but our prize for Destination Avon is gonna be a trip to Cancun, Mexico. Um, you're gonna, it's gonna be five days, four nights in a brand new Hilton um, all-inclusive resort. This will take place in the spring of 2023. Um, if you are a pinnacle achiever, you're going to earn a six-day, five-night experience at the ultra-luxurious Waldorf Astoria Cancun Resort. So, you know, think about that. Maybe you want to, maybe one of your goals is to be on a, a pinnacle achiever. It can be done, okay? A lot of us have been on those pinnacle boards, all right? So it can definitely be done with the right plan. But that's, that's kind of the um, summary of where we're going. I put a couple pictures in here so you can see you know, where you're going to be going, I'm telling you the resorts that Avon sends us to are top notch. Okay. Amazing. Like it's probably spoiled me so that when I go on vacation with my family, I'm like, well, you know, I'm not going there. I got to go <laughs> somewhere else. It has to be luxurious. So, um, you know, that's where we're going. So how do you get there? All right. I'm hoping, I was hoping that the site will be updated maybe this campaign at some point with, the, with, with what your target should be. I know a lot of people are asking those questions, but there's no reason why you can't figure it out on your own and work with your mentor. If you can't figure it out, we can help you get there. But um, you can get there two ways, all right? The first way is a personal sales increase, all right? And this is for everybody. What I love about this trip is anybody can earn, right? So if you are a PRP member, PRP member means that you are 10,000 in sales and above, all right? And this trip is based on your sales from campaign one through 26 of 2021, all right? So you'll wanna go back maybe and look at your sales for that time period and add on 9,000, all right? That's gonna be your goal. And I'm gonna show you a little example after this. So what I did was I actually broke this down a little bit and said, that's an additional, like if you were, you know, like I said, PRP and above, that's an additional $347 a campaign. All right. You need to factor that in, in addition to what you did last year. Okay. Just to, so you can think that, think that through. All right. Um, a trip for two, you need to increase your sales by 15,000. Same way. That's an additional 578 per campaign. All right. Now, um, if you are a contender, or premier level. And what that really means is you are you have been around with Avon for more than a year. You are not necessarily a new representative anymore, any longer, um, but you are 5,000 and below. You're below 5,000. You hit premier, um, or I'm sorry, we'll say 9999 <laughs> um, and below. So you haven't hit that president's club. So that's really where you're at with contender and premier level. You need to just get to $16,000 in sales. Okay, that is your goal. That really breaks down to be $616 a campaign. All right, totally doable. Um, and then if you want to achieve the trip for two, that's $23,000 in sales. And that is $885 a campaign. Now, as you look at these numbers, all right, $16,000, if you get the $16,000 in sales, you're going to hit President's Club. All right, you're going to be earning more. So there are, this is twofold. You're not only earning a trip, but you're earning at a different sales level as well if you are a contender or premier. So if you are in that bucket, you may want to push towards that because you may, you're going to hit President's Club. Same for the trip for two. You will hit Honor Society if that is what your goal is. All right, and then a new representative, anybody new in the business that comes and joins, um, you know, is needs to hit 14,000 in sales, which is 539 a campaign, totally doable guys, especially with the pathway to premier program. Um, you know, them achieving and getting the most sales as they can in those first eight campaigns, they can earn so much and also earn towards this trip, right? And hit president's club, all right? And then a trip for two is $19,000 in sales and that's 731 a campaign. So it really just breaks down, like I said, this is on based on 26 campaigns. So guess what? We're already three in or two in. So you're going to have to adjust those numbers, especially if you were behind a little bit and, um, you know, see where you fall out. All right. Any questions on that? Just looking through here. Okay. All right. So those, that's one way. The other way is with team sales increase. All right. Um, if you are a non-leader, promoter, and ambassador, if you get your team sales to 17,500, 
then you are on this trip. 25,000 for a trip for two. Okay. The key here is, is that this year it's a little bit different. Your personal sales are not going to be factored into this. Okay. What they want, you have to have team growth. All right. Which, you know, a lot of people have already been talking to as well as myself is, you know, their kind of word for the year is growth. All right. This is where the growth is going to happen. So if you want to get into leadership, start a team. If you are just starting your team and you want to, you know, get to those new levels, these are the levels. That you, and, and I will say that wherever you fell, um, whatever your level was as of C26 is where you will start and work towards. So if you were in that non-leader promoter ambassador bucket, that is what your goal is. If you are in the leader, which is bronze, you know, um, bronze, silver, gold, it's $25,000 increase for a trip for one. 35 for a trip for two, and then executive leaders, 75 and 100,000. So you could see kind of that breakdown there. And the reason why I do that, I've been working with some of my leaders is like, how can you figure out, you know, um, how to do this, right? How many people do you need on your team? How many people, what, what orders, where do you want your team to be from a sales perspective as well? Maybe they're at Premier now, but you know, having them set a goal at um, President's Club or yeah, President's Club at 10,000, that's $5,000 that you can kind of factor into your total there. All right. It's a numbers game, guys. <laughs> okay. Break it down into the numbers and you will figure out the way. All right. And we are as leaders here to help you with that. All right. So that's kind of how that works. So as I go through that, what are your goals? You know, what are your sales goals? What are your leadership goals? Um, you need to have both, okay? You need to have a few goals. What is your sales goal going to be this year? Is it, and it could be anything, guys. We don't need it to be, you know, you may want to hit these new levels, but maybe you just want to try to place a $200 order um, every campaign and be consistent. Maybe it's, I'm going to gain two customers each campaign or, you know, whatever it is, set that goal. Any goal is a great goal, right? Because you're working towards something. Leadership, increase your, maybe you want to increase your sales volume, right? If you want to earn that trip, you got to do that, right? You want to be at a new level by the end of the year and put that date on it. Maybe it's a progression. Maybe it's, you know, maybe you're sitting at a bronze ambassador, but hey, by, you know, the summertime at a certain campaign, I want to be silver before I go to convention. And then maybe by the end of the year, I want to be gold. So set those goals. It's important. And I'm going to go through all that stuff. So figure out and think in your head, where do you want to be? All right. So this is where I was talking about, you know, smart goals. And like, I already kind of went down that road of like creating when you want to hit your goal. Um, so I'm not going to go through this in full detail because I do have a slide on each one. I'm just going to kind of give you a quick example through so that we can get to the other information. But, you know, a goal is important. You can have a goal and you can write that goal down. I want to be a bronze leader. Okay, well, what are you going to do to get there? How do you do it, right? So your goal has to be clear. It has to be reachable and it cannot be crazy. If you are not even in leadership and you want to be a bronze executive, that's going to be a little bit kind of a crazy goal. It's a great goal to have maybe over a five-year period, a three-year period, but you know you want to make sure that goals are reachable for you, okay? Because if you don't make that goal reachable or realistic, you're not going to work towards it, right? You're going to get frustrated and give up, all right? So SMART is you know, an acronym and it's, you know, specific. You got to be specific about your goal. Simple, sensible, significant. Okay. Um, it has to be measurable. You got to be able to measure this. It has to be motivating. You have to have, you know, things in there that you're going to be like, okay. Um, and I'll go through an example for that in a minute here. Um, it has to be achievable. Like I just said, you have to be able to achieve it. It has to make sense. Now your goal has to push you a little bit. It shouldn't be a simple goal that you can know you can reach and, you know, but you have to stretch yourself a little bit. Um, R is for relevant. Make sure it's realistic. Like I said, it has to be results-based. It has to be realistic. And then time-bound. That's the important part. We have a time frame, right? We know what our time frame is. If you want to go to Cancun, you know 
what that time frame is, but how do you break that down and how are you going to reach um, that goal and be able to, like I said, with, when you have that time frame, you're going to be able to measure it. All right. So very quickly here, I, I have, um, you know, I broke these down. I'm going to keep these slides in here because I thought they were important. I'm not going to go through them in detail. Like I said, they will be out there, but I break each step down into, you know, what questions you should be asking. Um, you know, and this one specifically is for specific, um, you know, and very quickly, it's important so that you know exactly what needs to get done in order for the goal to be a success, right? So like, you might want to write like a statement, you know, I just put an example here is, you know, I want to be a bronze leader with my Avon business because I love to help other women feel empowered. All right. It's going to help you kind of go back to what Natasha is saying is your why, why you need to put that why in there. Okay. So that, you know, maybe when things are getting a little bit hectic or, you know, tough, you can kind of go back to that, you know, your goal and be like, okay, it reminds you of why you want to achieve this goal. All right. It's measurable. Okay. Measurable goal is one that is based on some sort of metric. All right. And I have some examples over here. Like I said, um, you know, this was an example. Well, I need to add two people to my team each week and increase my team sales each campaign. Okay. That's a way to measure. Did I put, did, did, I, did I add two people to my team? Did I not? <laughs> you know, and then you got to adjust. So it's keeping you accountable. All right. Is it attainable? So you really need to start thinking like, if you want to be a bronze leader, you need to ask yourself, how many team members do you have now? What are your team sales? Are you meeting the leadership requirements at the level you're at right now? And depending upon those answers, that's going to determine, you know, um, if you need to set some other goals or maybe what you need to specifically set to measure against. All right. Um, and like I said, a goal is that that is attainable as a goal you can accomplish. So you can definitely do it. Relevant goals are goals that help you progress to your dream. Um, is it realistic? Is it relevant? You know, if you want to be a bronze leader, you got to ask yourself, am I able to put the time in to take to achieve this level? Um, once I'm here, am I going to be able to keep it? Uh, will this help me financially? Maybe that's what your you know, drive is. And are you really ready to be at that level? So you need to really go through as you're planning your goals and start asking yourself these questions, because if you get there and you're not able to keep a, a, a level, a, you know, it, it gets frustrating. OK, and you don't want to be that way. You want to set a goal that is realistic, that's going to help you be um, successful in this business. And then finally, time bound. OK, this was just something I threw in here. I will be a bronze leader by December 6, 2022. OK, each campaign, I'm going to increase my team sales by 500. And I will develop three new bronze ambassadors by October 31st, 2022. I'm being very time bound, right? I, I'm being by that date, I want to be that. So what it's going to do is going to help you break the goals down and be able to um, you know, meet that specific time frame. So, and it's also good for um, being accountable to maybe your mentor. If you have an accountability partner, it really does help you sit down after each campaign and analyze like, where am I? What do I need to do? And how can I adjust? All right. So that was everything. I kind of created this before and you guys can use this if you want to. It just takes every, um, specific like the goal that we talked about and I put in those questions there so you can kind of like you know scribble down later on obviously or maybe even right now as you know I'm talking maybe write some things down to you know really go through and you can use this with your mentor if you would like um, but or maybe use this before you meet with them because you know it'll kind of give you a guys a good starting point all right so there's that all right, so this is what I kind of did. And, um, you know, I just did this very quickly. Tip is work with your mentor in determining your goals, okay? And, you know, if you can do it, you're, you could obviously do it yourself, you know, but may, make sure that you're going through this with them. And if you need help doing this, I know there's a lot of math over here, but I'm just going to run through this so that you can kind of see how you can kind of get down to the details of what you need to do to meet your goals, all right? So let's just say 
My goal is I want to earn a trip for one to Cancun on personal sales and also hit Honor Society. All right. So the first step you're going to take is what were my sales from campaign one to C26? Let's just say they're 10,000. Give me one second. I got to take a drink. <laughs> All right. So for a trip for one, I got to increase my sales by 9,000. All right. So you add that on. So my total sales needed to hit Cancun is 19,000. I need to add on 1,000 for Honor Society, right? <coughs> Sorry, guys. My throat is very dry from taking some medication so and a lot of talking. So give me one second here. All right. So you're going to add on, you want to hit Honor Society. Well, Honor Society is 20,000. So add on that $1,000. So now you know your total sales for the year have to be $20,000 in order to hit the trip and hit Honor Society. So what you're going to need to do is you got to go in and say, well, what were my sales for campaign one and two, right? We already started the year. Let's take off, you know, whatever it is. It's about $1,000. Now you're at, you need $19,000 from campaign three to campaign 26, all right? That is 24 campaigns remaining, and you just divide that. So your goal per campaign is 792, all right? You need $792 to hit the goal each campaign, all right? This is measurable, right? This is a way to measure, and this is a way to figure out what you need to do to get to that goal, all right? And that's kind of where I'm gonna talk about, what I'm gonna talk about next is, you know, a lot of people are saying, are you gonna give us ideas on, you know, what we can do to hit these goals? Yes, I am. <laughs> so let me go through what those are, but this was just a quick way to really figure out and get a, a get you know, now that we don't, we don't have a tracker quite yet, but that's no reason why you can't get started now and figure out what your goal is. This is the first day of campaign three. All right. You have no time to waste. All right. You don't want to let another campaign go by and get more behind because the more behind you get, the harder the goal is going to be. All right. So that's why I'm saying you need to get started now. All right. So a couple ideas. You know, a lot of people are doing this right now. A lot of people were talking about, you know, creating a word and, you know, create a vision board. This is something, like I said before, is maybe taking that goal and putting this on the vision board. All right. A vision board is, you know, a compilation of ideas, words, phrases, images, whatever it is, <laughs> you know, whatever it is that you want to achieve. Okay. If it's go to Cancun, then you better print out some pictures of Cancun that you that that really inspire you. All right. If it's more money, put some pictures of money. Maybe put some pictures of things that you want to um, you know, buy with that extra money. Maybe it's, hey, I need money for a car or my kids college education or whatever it is. Put that up there because what it's going to do, it's going to every time you look at that, it's going to motivate you. It's going to remind you of what you're working towards. Okay? That's why these are important. And like I said, that word that you want to put out there, whatever it is, like I said, I think mine is really growth and growth could be personally, it could be, um, like I said, with my team, with my sales, whatever it is, it's really growth. Okay. Um, whatever your word is, put that on there as well. All right. Um, so that's what a vision board, has anybody out there created a vision board? I don't know, maybe you could put that in your comments and maybe share a picture of what those are. It might be like kind of a fun activity. I know I've done my vision boards even just through like um, Canva and just taking pictures and putting it in there. And then what you can do is, um, you know, just print that out if you don't want to go old school and cut things up, you know, and put it on a poster board. It could be a fun activity maybe to get your team together um, for anybody local and just kind of sit together and talk about your goals and put that um, in, and create your vision board. All right. So that's one idea as to how you can achieve your goals. All right. This is super duper important, right? Plan out each campaign. All right. I can tell you that the beginning of the year in my head, especially when I go to kickoff, um, that's why attending, you know, it's great now with kickoff being um, open to everybody. Um, you can plan out your campaigns, right? If you know what's coming, 
you can really sit there and be like, okay, what's my strategy going to be for these campaigns that are upcoming? Um, how am I going to achieve this? I know that fashion comes out at least three times, three major times a year. I'm going to focus heavily at that time on my sales for that. You know, maybe it's uh, a new, um, like, the, like we always do with the Christmas items. We know the fourth quarter, that's where our focus is going to be. So really plan out um, when, you know, things like bug guard, right? We all know that summer comes up and that's going to be your focus at a certain time frame. Plan out your campaigns because that's going to make things a little bit easier for you. And you can really um, figure out where you need to kind of fill in those holes. Um, but I kind of said, here's the plan campaign. And I've done this within my other training for avonizing your home. And, you know, um, it's really coming up with, you know, your sales goal. So I took that sales goal, that 792 from the other page, and just kind of did a quick breakdown. Sales goal, 792. What's your investment? What, what items, demos are you going to purchase? How much is that? Set a budget. Am I going to get? and um, invest in my business. Take that, that, those sales count towards that, all right? Take that off, maybe it's $100. All right, if you haven't avonized your home, what are you personally using, right, around your house? If you haven't started avonizing your home, this is the time to start. Why go out to the store and buy it? You know what's amazing now is I don't have to go out to the store and buy a lot of products that are annoying, like laundry detergent. I hate lugging those things around. I don't have to worry about it because I get it sent to my door. <laughs> so, you know, start thinking about that. What can you use in your home and start switching out and stop giving Target and Walmart and um, Bath and Body and whoever else money, okay? Put it in your business. So let's just say a hundred bucks every campaign. That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. All right. So the sales that you need from your customers that you need to generate is 592. So now you have a plan. Okay. So then what you can do is go through, I recommend going through the what's new. All right. Go through that what's new and determine, right? What products am I going to demo? What new products are coming out? Who are they going to appeal to? Who is, who am I going to market these to? right? What's going to be my social media plan? How can I advertise these items? What's your strategy? You know, how many customers do I need to hit that goal? All right. You can really definitely break this down and have a plan because let me just tell you, when you have a plan in place, you're not stressed. There's no stressing. You work your plan. All right. And you assess it. <laughs> okay. So, um, you know, that's kind of my suggestion on, you know, plan out your campaigns figure out what you're going to do, write it down. Every week you should have a plan in place when you're gonna do it. Um, and I'll go through a lot of that stuff too um, as well on the next few slides. All right, so um, any questions on that? I think this is um, you know, kind of some, I like to give questions so you can really think through these. Anybody has any other you know, suggestions as well, please put those in the comments, but all right, so the next one is, and I've seen such great, amazing, a lot of people um, have been talking about this, is create a VIP Facebook group if you haven't, right? Okay, if you have not done this, this is going to be kind of a, a really good way to reach your customers, um, you know, a bigger group of customers with like one post, right? <laughs> or you know, rather than, and, and it's good to follow up and you should be following up with every single customer, but it would be a little bit easier to like, you know, post something in there and get that engagement going um, in, in a group rather than trying to send, you know, things out to every single different customer. All right. But, in, and if you do have a group already, how can you increase your game? How can you um, improve the, uh, the activity in there? All right, this is something that I'm focusing on a lot. I've actually rebrand, I'm rebranding myself and I'll go through what I'm doing. But so if you don't have a Facebook group, create one, all right? Come up with a fun, catchy name, um, you know, throw it around out there if you need help from your mentor, but don't waste a lot of time on it either. You know, um, just come up with something and get it started, all right? Then you, what you're gonna do is who's your best customers that are on Facebook, you wanna invite them to your page, all right? It's kind of like a starting point, right? And then maybe do a giveaway for everyone who joins and refers others. Um, 
you know, ask your friends, you can put it out there and I will, you know, suggest obviously when you go to Facebook, you can invite people to it, but you need to also reach out to them personally and say, hey, do you mind helping me out and joining my group? I sent you an invitation through Facebook. Okay, why not? Just because you post something on most social media doesn't mean everybody's going to respond to it because people just sometimes don't even see it. Okay, so be um, proactive in that approach of, you know, reaching out to people uh, personally. All right, so um, if, if you already have a group, but you need some new ideas, these are some of the things that I'm going to be doing. I kind of rebranded mine and I'm calling it Anne's Blooming Beauty Boutique. And I'm, these are the things I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing tutorials because that's what people and some of my customers are asking for. Um, and if you don't know how to do something, you go out to YouTube and you watch some videos and you practice. I've been really, you know, I didn't know how to put on makeup a lot, you know, before this, before joining Ava, I just kind of put it on. I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I've been practicing a lot every day, you know, that I'm getting ready. I'm trying something new. Okay. And then, you know, and just do it. You know, it may not be the um, ultimate correct way, but this is how I get my look. And if people are asking you how you get your look, show them how you get your look, because obviously it looks good. All right. So do tutorials, um, show products, do a meeting in a box. Don't make these videos long. Make them quick so people want to be in tune. Maybe it's the top three products of the what's new that you want to show them and talk about. All right. And, what, and provide that and provide valuable information on what that, that product is going to do for them. Okay. Have fun. Go out there and just do funny posts. This post, it could be all over the place. You know, make the group engaging. Do some giveaways. Maybe you do a mystery hostess party one night on your page and whoever, um, you know, maybe gets the most points from your customers, they, they'll get some free products or something. Okay. So, you know, if there's obviously any other ideas that you guys have that you're doing, please share those with everybody on the team page, because it really does help. We are here to help one another, but this is just kind of some of my ideas on how you can, you know, increase those sales, get some new customers as well, because normally if, you know, you're in a group and you're having fun and you really enjoy it, right? Don't you invite other people to it? So, you know, that's where you kind of got to get to within your group because you want others to be referred to it. All right. Yes. And that's correct. Um, the talk, it does take a lot of time to get there. You know, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. All right. So, don't, you just got to be consistent and keep putting stuff out there, trying new things. Um, and, and eventually, you know, you're going to get that engagement. All right. The next one is um, that I, idea that I had is, you know, fundraise for your own event. All right. So what I mean by this is you can fundraise. There's various different ways you can fundraise and get you know, you could do an online traditional type fundraiser through the e-store um, or with flyers, you know, reach out to um, local um, schools and, um, you know, uh, sporting um, teams, different things like that. And I think Rebecca had something really good too on, um, there's a training we did. I'll have to get that and put that back out there for different places you can contact you know, to go to, to see if they need help with anything. All right. And Rebecca, if you're on here and you have that specific one, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, I'll reach out to you and ask. <laughs> but um, it was really good because she put it on a ton of different places um, that you can reach out to. All right. Um, and also talk to your friends. I mean, ask them, you know what I mean? Like, don't be afraid to, to ask um, friends and family for help. All right, you can create bundles. A lot of us have been doing this. This has been extremely successful, um, you know, over this past year. Create your own bundles that, that your customers can donate towards. So if there's something you wanna donate to a shelter, maybe you pick a certain amount of product and hey, for every $10 I collect, I'm giving away this bundle. You know, people wanna help others, you know, and, and even if they can't do 10, they can do five, whatever it is you know, that's only going to help you, um, you know, kind of get to a new goal. Plus you're helping other people. People like to see, you know, and they're, they're willing to, to donate towards something like that. 
And it's also just getting your business out there um, for others to see. So, and you're just doing good. Like that's, that's mainly the key thing here. All right. Um, and here's another item, like an idea too. think outside the box guys, <laughs> you know, this doesn't just have to be straight. I need to sell a product to someone. Start thinking outside the box, have a yard sale, garage sale, maybe with items in your home and state that the funds are going to go towards a products for a specific cause. Why not? Get rid of the, the crap that's hanging around your house and say, hey, I'm selling this. Um, the proceeds are going towards um, the food bank. I'm going to be providing them with blah, 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 blah. Guess what? The person's getting something that they want for a discount and um, you're getting rid of stuff and then you're taking that money and putting it into your business. Okay. Recently, I just had my house painted and literally everything is off my walls. I don't think I'm putting it back up. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> take pictures of the stuff and I'm going to sell it. Even if it's for five bucks, $10, whatever it is, all those funds I'm going to take and I'm going to invest in my business by purchasing, you know, either kits for, um, I think I'm going to do kits for my local food bank is what I'm going to do. Toothbrushes, um, toothpaste, soap bars, things like that, that food banks don't really get a lot of. Okay, so think outside the box, all right? Um, so the other ideas I have too that I'm gonna be focusing on is throw your own event for a cause. Why not, right? Do you have a talent or, or something that you could offer a service for donations? You know, like if you are a yoga instructor, maybe you have a yoga online yoga class, $5, or, you know, or um, have it, you know, local. $5 and its funds are going towards blah, blah, blah. Okay. Think about it and think outside the box. If you have a talent or something, why not use it to help, um, help others as well as, you know, help your business. All right. And those people might be like, they may not even know you. They could bring a friend and be like, Oh, Avon, I haven't seen that in so long. Take some brochures, you know, take your business cards, show off some products. Maybe you're going to do a door prize, something like that. All right. For your own happy hour networking event, it could be a local brewery, a coffee shop, um, winery, whatever, get some people that, you know, who have businesses and, have them show up at a certain place. Maybe there's a fee at the door. People pay for networking events, guys, okay? <laughs> and this could be a new way to maybe meet somebody that if you are, you know, trying to build your team, you may find some new team members this way, all right? So think outside the box. It's very, it's not that hard um, to do. I know I, and, and, and like, I'm gonna tell you right now, I did a happy hour. I wanted to kind of go off the grid and do my own thing with somebody that I had met. And we did it at a local brewery. And guess what? We had two people show up. It's fine. Who cares? You know what I mean? But I made some new contacts, right? I had fun, <laughs> right? Have fun in this business. You might not have success every single time, but it's trying to figure out what works and doing something consistently, okay? Throw a bingo, you know, have a bingo night online, you know, we're all kind of stuck in maybe right now because of, you know, the flu and COVID going around, but you can still do things online. All right. Maybe you do an online tutorial. If you're really good with makeup, Hey guys, I'm going to be doing this event, you know, and you can come in and maybe you send out some, do some door prizes that way. You know, I know I do all the golf outing and that's kind of a big event that I do that I've been doing consistently, but you know, maybe you want to do your own. Maybe you want to do a cornhole tournament. Maybe you want to do whatever, you know, um, think outside the box and it all requires planning. Okay. And maybe team up and have some fun, do some things locally with, with other team members. And, um, you know, you're, you're, by doing these events, you're putting your name out there and you are also, um, you know, meeting new people. All right. Okay. So those are some ideas that I had for that. Any questions on that? I'm just trying to go through. Um, all right. Trying to see. Okay. Making sure there's no questions there. All right. So the next one is, you know, just increasing your social media presence in general. All right. 
um, what social media platforms are you on? You know, I just named some things that I, you know, have out there, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, um, Pinterest, you know, Nextdoor app. A lot of people have um, success with that. You know, seek these out, create an account and start watching and figuring it out, okay? Um, and, and secondly, you want to create your own brand. You want to start going through that. We've done some trainings on branding, and that's something that we can go into. I'm telling you, every single one of these things that I um, have talked about is a separate training in itself, which we will go through. So if there's anything you want more training on as we're going through and talking about this, please put that in the comments as well. But, you know, when you create your brand, you, you're really posting about your passions in life. And you want to share with people who you are. Um, I'd say always pick your top three things. What are the top three things that you're most um, important to you? Is it family? Is it travel? Um, is it um, helping others? Uh, do you like running? Do you like um, drinking coffee? Uh, you know, whatever it is, whatever those top things are, that's what you should be sharing with people and using that 80-20 rule with your posts, you know, 80% about you and your life, and then 20% really is about your business, okay? You want people to, you don't want to be posting about your business and shoving it down everybody's throat all the time because they're going to get turned off, all right? Um, do lives. Get out there and do lives, right? Um, you know, when Natasha and I do our lives, there's no script, guys. We just have gotten on there and we've done it. And sometimes we look back and do some cringing a little bit, but it doesn't matter because, you know, you just go out there and do it. OK, you just got to do it. And the more you do it, the better you will get and the more you will learn. All right. Don't be afraid of failure. All right. OK, um, share what you're doing with your business, too. Like you can do that. You can say like that could be in your 20 percent. Like, you know, um, share what you're doing. Share that you just went on a, you know, a trip with Avon. You, you don't even have to put Avon there if you don't want to. Hey, I just got back from, you know, Hawaii. Oh, it was amazing. I didn't have to pay for anything, but blah, 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 blah. whatever it is, you can share that, share those things. Okay. That's marketing. <laughs> you know, I always say that earning these trips, it's amazing and it's great and it's fun, but those trips that you earn with Avon, they are amazing for networking and meeting new people, but also for, for marketing and showing off what people can do and earn with this business. All right, create reels, TikToks, product review videos. Now that we have the new site, you can put product review vid videos attached to products. That's really cool, okay? But you have to have a YouTube um, channel and that's gonna be a whole training too that we go through. And obviously the wear and share. Um, what I mean by that is, you know, today I have this on. I might take a picture of myself after this training and put it on social media, <laughs> okay? right? It's not that hard, guys. Share it. You don't even have to talk about it if you don't want to. Maybe I'll take a picture of myself in this and put like a quote or I love animal print. Who else loves animal print? Well, I might see it and be like, oh, I really like that. Where'd you get it? Okay. Did you talk about your business? No, they asked about it. So be thoughtful um, with what you're doing on social media. And like I said, be consistent and maybe create a calendar. You can pre-schedule posts in groups, guys. It's really easy, but there are other um, apps and um, programs and things out there that you can schedule posts with, maybe on your main page um, in your main news feeds. So you might want to seek those out and maybe invest in something like that. But you know, the key is really to be consistent and then create what that calendar is. Have a plan for each day. All right, and that's something that I'm going to be working on. Um, myself. So, all right. Other ideas. These are my other ideas for you guys just to think about. I couldn't really fit them in the other um, areas was, but participate and watch trainings. Okay. And that's not just on our page, but Avon U. Avon U, there is a ton of information out there. There's a schedule and a calendar for what trainings are coming up. Go out and look around. If you want to be better at fundraising, go out and watch all the fundraising videos, okay? Um, if you want to be better at social media, go out and seek those, all right? It's only going to help you. So I highly suggest that even if you miss a training, 
um, that we do, please go back and do it on replay. That's the beauty of this business, right? And owning your own business. It's on your time, time schedule, okay? Um, obviously, the best way and I, what I've learned is to do it now <laughs> mentality because sometimes, and you know, you don't go back and do it, right? If you don't do it now, you'll never get to it. So, you know, um, I know one of our things too is we're going to be putting our trainings out there a lot sooner so that you are aware of it and that you can say, hey, you know what, I'm going to take this hour and I'm going to watch it and I'm going to focus my time on that and work your schedule kind of around that. All right. And sometimes we can't help it, you know, if you have appointments or you're working or whatever happens, happens. Like I said, that's the beauty of this business. All right. Plan on attending Avon Convention this year. We don't know where it's at. We don't know when but plan on it, okay? Either in person or virtually. Make the investment in yourself because I'm just gonna tell you, it's, it's like we always say, a game changer in your business because you are around you know, hundreds of other people who are passionate about this business. You can find and learn new ideas from other people. Um, you know, and even tending it virtually is, you know, you may not get the same experiences as being, you know, there and feeling that energy, but I love the fact that Avon now offers that it could be virtual because, you know, if you can't make it, you can still, you know, get all of the information. So plan on that. All right. You need to plan on it in your planning and, you know, as you're going through and setting goals, that could be a goal for you and plan. I am going to convention. <laughs> okay personal development, start thinking about, you know, what do you need help with? Um, what is it that you maybe struggle with? Maybe it's organization, maybe it's um, planning, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, then go out and see, you know, there's self-help books out there. There's online classes, there are blogs, there are all kinds of things to help you, um, you know, maybe get better at something that's that's only going to help you in this business. It's going to help you achieve those goals. Okay. Um, and then, you know, find an accountability partner. I think it's important to do that. Um, you know, it could be with your mentor, which is perfectly fine. It could be, you can have a couple met accountability partners, right? Um, you know, maybe it's someone that you met, you know, on a trip somewhere, stay in touch with them and say, Hey, do you want to keep me accountable? Maybe it's somebody on the team, um, you know, on team Hello Beautiful, like, you want, you connect with very well and you want to, you know, that's going to challenge you too. So think about that, um, you know, as you go through and start planning is, you know, all of these things are going to help build you up and um, help you achieve those goals. All right. So what are your next steps? <laughs> your next steps are, you got to think about what your goal is. All right. Um, you need, you know, I kind of put in here, maybe complete a smart goal worksheet, maybe go through there and just jot some ideas down. It's just really there to help you start thinking and start formulating what the plan is. I highly suggest setting up time with your mentor, right? And reviewing um, and going through that. Um, you know, you can do that. And you also, like I just talked about the accountability partner is you can maybe set up some time with them as well. I highly suggest you set it up with your mentor so they have an idea of, you know, what's going on and how they can help you um, reach those goals. But share that with your accountability partner. You know, you should be sharing that and, and maybe, you know, they have a copy, you have a copy. So now I can keep you accountable. Hey, did you go out and did you post every day this week? Oh, I didn't. I will next week. Do you see the importance of, you know, having that um, setting up the goal plus having somebody kind of ask you about it, right? To keep you accountable. And then obviously you want to work your goal and crush it, okay? So I don't know if there's any other questions. That might be the end of my um, slide deck. I kind of got through that fairly quickly, um, but let me just get back out here. So if anybody has any questions on this, um, please let me know. Like I said, I will be sharing all of this with everybody. I will be putting it out on the page um, for everybody to see once I get through my next meeting at one, which is four minutes away. <laughs> so <laughs> I timed it perfectly, I guess. Um, but I just want to say thank you for um, joining me. Thank you for watching. If you are watching this afterwards, I probably should have said this in the beginning, please put that hashtag replay. And like I said, get with your mentor, think about your goal. Do not let this time frame slip away. 
the longer that it, you take to get the goal and start working towards it, the harder it's going to be. All right. So like I said, this is the campaign to get started. And I just want to say, like I said, thank you for, for joining me. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. All right. See you guys.